So let's take a look at this next image. Let's zoom in right here. The issue with this image, if we look at the info palette over here, is that this highlight is completely blown out. It's overexposed. And what I need to do is I need to build up grain structure and tonality and match the tonality in this area. And how I'm going to do that is by using some techniques that were developed for other types of image manipulation and editing. First thing we're going to do is we're going to create a curves adjustment layer. Now the technique that we're going to do here was developed to help replicate the way a lens expresses capturing light when you're working with trying to replicate depth of field. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the blending mode multiply. And why I'm going to use multiply is that multiply doubles the density of things. The first issue is I've got to get density into this area. Now, I'm going to start by clipping the curve to start to match the gray. So now as you can see, I've got pixels in here. I have pixels in here. I have detail. I'm not going to click on the center part of this. I'm going to bring this up to where these two points match. And what I've done is I've created an area that is now the gray that I want. Okay. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new group. And I'm going to put this in that group. And I'm going to call this Fix Highlight. OK, click OK. Now, holding the Option key, or Alt key, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to get the, this dialog box to come up. I'm going to select the Blending Mode, Soft Light. Now, I'm going to also select Fill with Soft Light, Neutral Color, 50% Gray. And I'm going to call this Skin Texture. And click OK. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a smart object. I'm going to go to Filter, Convert for Smart Filters. The reason why I want to do that is in case if I have to come back and adjust things, I will have the ability to do that. That Smart Filters allow me an exit strategy, and exit strategies are very, very important in a non-destructive workflow. Now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add noise. So I'm going to go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Now, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to start to move things up. And I'm going to make sure that what I have is Gaussian monochromatic noise. And how I'm going to determine the noise is I'm going to start to pay attention to the area around right here. I'm going to start looking at this structure here, and I'm just going to make note of it. And as I increase the noise, what's going to occur is I'm going to go try and get noise in this area. I'm trying to try and create grain. So I want to be a little overzealous. Now in this instance what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this right up to about 211, 211.81%. I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to blur the noise that I created by using Gaussian Blur. And let's start here at the beginning and start moving this up. We're going to go to Extremes and Retreat to a usable position. Now for me, right around 9.9 .9 is the radius that I want. I'm going to click OK. Now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the emboss filter. So I'm going to go to Other. Nope, I'm a liar. I'm going to go to Stylize, Embossed. And I'm going to start to look at changing the angle and paying attention to getting the right type of grain structure that I want. So it looks like 135 is where I want it. I'm going to move these down here, and then I'm going to start to work with the height and amount of emboss that I want to add to this image. And again, let's move this over here. Let's click right there. I'm going to pay attention to the area that I want. So what I'm going to come up with is a height of about 17, 18, and let's start to move the amount down. And it looks like an amount of about 15%, and I'm going to click OK. Now that I have that, the issue at hand is that I've done this to the entire image. I'm going to come up here to Fix Highlight. I'm going to create a layer mask. I'm going to fill that layer mask with black. I'm going to select my brush tool. 
set it at an opacity of 50%, shrink my brush tool to the, about the area that I want to work on, and I'm going to proceed to brush this detail in. Now, holding the Command, Shift, or Control, Shift, F, which brings up the Fade Effect dialog box, I can increase or decrease the amount that I want. So in this instance, about 61%. I'm going to click OK. Now again, I can come back up here and fix this area that's blown out a little bit. Once again, Command Shift or Control Shift F, and I can dial in, increase, or decrease the amount that I want. Now that's how I would use a technique that is used to retouch skin, specifically putting texture back into skin on an image which has a blown out highlight.